the old school right here. Yo, yo. Am I on? Yeah, yeah, you on yeah. now. We see you playing. What's going uh, on? Dude, what's up, fellas? Two Shit. tags. What up, Brace? What's up? Chilling, man. What's going on with you, oh, player? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, he cool now. Your brace is pooch, man. All respect. Uh, what's up, pooch? Good, man. I see you in that GTA mode, so yeah. I ain't trying to mess with you. Where he got so, yeah, the. You know, you know. I'm, I'm not trying to bring my car GTA, around you. You know, people nothing. like to piss me off on GTA. <laughs> I hear that, man. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on two tags. I'm proud of you, man. I love you. You're doing your thing. And I wish you a million freaking people online and everything that comes with it. I'm a fan. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate it, man. Awesome. I'm, wait I'm waiting to see what's up with your, with your mixtape, man. I'm excited yeah, to see the, offer codes I'm excited to see the you know the music that you got on there. You might even put on some shit that I'll be like, oh, I haven't heard that in a minute. Oh yeah, well you know that already. You could tell by the beard. <laughs> hey man, I got it too, bro. I got it too. I'm about to start using just for men. Yeah, yeah, oh, I got sweet. that that salt and pepper. If I let it rise a little bit more, man, you would think I'm I'm knee deep in snow. <laughs> I hate you, bro. Cheers to everybody. Pumpy Nobody said, "Joe here, shaking my damn head." Cheers, cheers, bro. Thank you. I'm my bad. I'm trying to set up this. First of all, hold on. Tell so you, yeah, you definitely need to fix this shit. Man, you be alright, Brazy. No, my 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 name ain't. Me 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 you be alright, bro. No, you gonna have to throw hands. Help that. <laughs> so you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing with these people. Who, Aaliyah who, says. Who, Aaliyah what says you mean? cheers. What you mean, you people? What you mean, you people? <laughs> <laughs> you people. Shit. <Sure. laughs> Fix the damn name, though. It's already fixed, man. You just gonna have to wait. You Fix know, you know, my shit be fucking delayed and shit. No, it ain't just stuff. It's Twitch. Word. Twitch is a. Device. Excuse me. Uh, how do I see the uh, the chats come up? It'll just come up on the screen. Oh no, you got your phone. Yeah, you gotta watch yeah, the. You gotta watch phone, this. Man. You gotta watch the screen to um. Okay, to see the chats come up. And yeah. When people gotta, start. Oh, okay. Like, like have it. Like if you got a phone, you could like scroll, like hold it down, and then you'll it'll you know still have it up, and then you can go back to Twitch and stuff. Yeah, hold on, let uh, me see. Can I? Okay, okay. All right. All right, cool. Let me see something. Oh, let me get this. So we got Philly in the house. That's awesome. Where? Yep. Hi. How you doing? Why every how's everything with the the COVID or stuff, man? How's how's everything been with that? Um, on my part, yeah, I've been alright. I mean, uh, it it hit me about two days before Thanksgiving. Okay, and um, I uh didn't th I didn't know I had it, so I thought I had like the flu because every year I always do something stupid like take a shower and go outside, for, you know, without a hat. Yeah, and yeah. Then winter and shit. So, um, but then it felt different. I lost my taste. I mm. lost the smell. And then, um, and then I had this headache, like right here down. I was like cradles and shit from God of War. I had a headache, like from here. And then I started feeling the fatigue. So no matter how much I slept, I, I wasn't getting rested. Damn. And then I, I knew something was wrong. So, uh, I think I caught it on the train actually, because I had tested negative. Uh, a couple of days before I got it. And then I said it was over. So when I had that, I went through that through Thanksgiving. I still ate my penin. You know how that Oh, is? yeah, yeah, yeah. My I hear you. Shoulder. Yeah, it's against and, the law uh, to not eat it. 
Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, <laughs> if they got a lick, if they got a mash it and liquid it and Word. give it to me and shit through a or straw or something. <laughs> give me that penny. Yeah, well, you, know you know what I'm saying. That is. That's that's why so, you survived. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah! Hey, you know, shit. Yeah, I was I was sipping on the grease and shit. Yeah, anyway, for real. Um, okay. But yeah, thank you for asking. I I've been good hanging in there. <clears throat> Not know if I got that second strand, but I'm on with y'all. Um, other than that, I'm doing okay. I'm I'm blessed, and the mm-hmm. reason why I'm say I'm blessed is because of the the full circle. I'm yeah. working. Yeah. You know how many people we know, how many people are unemployed that are living check to check, still have to pay that rent back whenever they, they decide Congress for them to to send that money. So I'm truly blessed. You know, my mother and father up in heaven, they, they're taking care of me. You know what I mean? Nah, so, yeah, I feel you. I feel you, man. Yeah, you know, all my friends that are up there, it's just, you know how it is. It's just uh, yeah. sometimes you got to stop and you just got to realize, you know, you know, what am I complaining for? Yeah, things could always be worse. We all know that. No, yeah, for real, yo. You know it's funny when you mention your parents. You know my mom passed and all that. So yes, yeah, I've been dealing with that for like ten years, and then I, um earlier in yeah that, in the, the yeah earlier in the year I decided to actually let go. Of the I made a video on YouTube of me like you know explaining all the stuff that was going on there and everything like that. So I I know exactly how you feel with that shit. And my brother had COVID too during like in the beginning of, mm-hmm. of the stuff during like the summertime and shit and he was like locked mm-hmm. up in his room like a prisoner for two weeks yeah well yeah. you know unfortunately that's the way that's the way you have to be yeah but uh that's why i felt when um when big food big food was on and he said his grandpa's in the hospital and everything, yeah yeah i i feel him I, no, yeah. I, I can feel that i feel him and and it's a sad reality but like they said as you get older uh you lose more than you gain yeah so mm-hmm. it's like that that generation is going yeah yeah you and, know and we i'm get... uncle now you know i'm like the older uncle now and yeah shit, yeah you know yeah so it's crazy matter of fact i'm taking my niece out tomorrow to go eat okay and she's been dealing through some hard times because her husband been unemployed for the whole year oh yeah that's gotta be tough and so i decided to treat him to uh uh you know do a little family thing and that's my favorite niece and you know, you got to invest in people who are going to take care of you later because I'm not young. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I hate you. So I hate maybe you, man. one day she'll wipe my ass. Yeah. I might need that. Yeah. You and, know? and you know what's crazy? <laughs> Yo, family is is the one thing that you don't even need to, like, you depend on them without them, them even knowing about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I yeah. before my uncle passed, I used to ask him all the time, like, yo, how do you do? Because his his parents passed a long t- before I was born. So I asked him, like, yo, how do you deal with it? Because, you know, I was trying to cope with my moms and stuff and he's like you just stay with your family you know like you always like he's always around us he's always around his daughters and everything he's like he he found straight with his family so when i'm with my family i'll just be sitting there watching him like i'd be like yo this he's just it's, it's true <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah and when you around yeah, them it's like you there's mm-hmm. a weight on your shoulder you don't have to be nobody else but you you know what i'm saying yeah but, but uh, what just to add to that what i learned in life is that um um, there's certain people, not everybody, uh, certain people that bring a certain part of your personality out. Yeah. So when they do pass away, when they say you have a black hole, you will never be that same way. It's just, it's a weird thing. Yeah. But not- you ever notice like with certain people, you're a certain way, they bring it out of you. You could practice it and be like, yeah, when I see this nigga, I'm going to be i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be serious today yeah and when you see them you just can't and they bring a certain thing about yeah. Yes. Out, out of you and that's what's crazy about life so when you lose someone you you realize eventually that um <clears throat> that uh you 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 um you there's a there's another part of your personality that you that you'll never bring out unless someone else special comes into that that uh you know fills that void yeah <laughs> and it rarely happens it rarely yeah. happens yeah and, you know, and just like parents when you lose your parents it's like oh. i lost my father i when i lost my mom i felt that was the only time i really felt alone no i in I, life i i, and I, I think I, it was that connection between a woman having the child 
because that's the only time that I felt like really alone. Like the shit was just, it, it was really hard to deal with. And then everything piled on and I went through a really rough time in life. Lost my job. I was about to lose my apartment. My girl cheated on me. Um, I went through, I went through such a bad period at that point. I got locked up in, uh, uh, in Queen Central Booking. I was the only dude there on Father's Day and I don't have kids. And it, you know, all that that came, it, 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 it turned me into a different person. And it may, and you know, all you, all, all, what it is is that you, some people question God. There is a higher superior for everybody. We might not have all the same God, but there is a bigger superior out there who looks out for you and does have that plan for you. And you might question why you're going through certain things, but eventually things will, will, uh, It'll come to light if you pay attention to it. No, right, yeah. Right. Yo, you know, it's, it's crazy because the way you just explained it with, like, with your mom, you never felt so alone on it. Bro, it's, it's 100, that's the honest truth. And I, I felt the same way. I yeah. felt this, I felt the same exact way. Like, I even, I would be, like, in a group of people, and I always told people, if you knew me before my mom passed, You'll be like, yo, this is a different person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was yeah. a completely different person. And then, and then, like, now I'm sitting here in front of all these people and mm -hmm. I feel like I'm by myself. People are talking and I can relate right. to what they're saying and I still yeah. can't, and I'm still not in, like, yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm, yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm not here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this point will always be there. Yeah. And there's, there's, that boy will there, and there's mm -hmm. certain times. Like my birthday is next week, and um oh, on, we on it. Wednesday, yeah. The, oh. And to be honest with you, Mike, mm -hmm. I've noticed like when I stream and I'm playing video games and people are here, I'm not, I'm still, I still feel the same way like if I was just walking around the day. But yesterday right. when we was doing the podcast and everybody came in and we was having a conversation mm -hmm. and, and you came mm -hmm. in and Aaliyah and everybody mm -hmm. we was able to talk. Yeah, it just took my mind off of it, and and. Yesterday and the day before, I was not sad, but just not there. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 almost like I'm sad, where it's like my eyes are leaking and shit like that for no reason. But I'm like, but, like in my in my I'm like in my head, I'm like, yo, I'm I'm fine, but there's something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, but this, but um, what what I want to express to you is that um, um, that's why I, I text. And I don't send, I don't send texts and stuff like that just to send it because it's cliche. It's a motto. No, my mother told me God brings good things together. And, and how I know that is because I lived it and I witnessed it. Oh, right. Here he comes. Yeah, that's right. And with that being said, I want to say that, um, then he broke my concentration anyway. Listen, so yeah. uh, with that being said, this forum that you have here and the people that you have can eventually become your family. And why is that? Because people don't think that people think that family is just the people who share the same blood you have that runs in your system. Yeah. But family can be that best friend you have or whoever has. You'll be surprised about how many people have love for you that's genuine and it's outside your your comfort zone or who you think is family. Yeah. You know, I know I'm sure a lot of people have an evil sister, evil brother. Yeah. I have an evil sister, right? None of my friends that I grew up with will ever treat me like that. And they will always be there for me. So just to circle back and put everything in a nutshell, this here can be your family yeah the people who log on now i've only been logging on for the past two weeks right yeah. but i've been logging on to show support yeah and i make sure that that notification uh, no, no notification uh, notification thing came to my phone to get on yeah but i i noticed that a few people that are still on there and they got the same notification whatever but they on there with you yeah so this could be created and it could be a family type atmosphere where you can you can um share certain things that bother you that help you 
Now, what hit me today was that big food. He said his grandfather's in the freaking hospital. Yeah. Right? Okay. So he shared that. That's not small. No, nah, no. Nah. That's not easy to say. That's something on his mind. He wanted a reaction. Yeah. He got on just to find out, does anybody really know what I'm going through or care? Yeah. So what do we do? We come for him. And that's what we did as good souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's people who've been there. Yeah, and Big Food right now is the longest viewer I have. I got him from YouTube and I've been he's been with me for years. So, you know, I like we know each other. You know, not like personally, <laughs> but you know, you know what I'm saying? So he comes yeah, in, he you know, you know we talk about a hole in the wall. No, nah, yeah. All I know is that he's going through something yeah. that I went through. Yeah. And it meant it, it hurts him. So I'm gonna send a little text no, like yeah. everybody else did on your on, on this uh, podcast to say, yo, you know what? You're not alone. We wish him well. We'll pray for him. Word. And that's it. Because whatever circumstances that comes out, he's gonna come back on anyway. Yeah. He's gonna be part because he's part of this little family that you created. Yeah. Now, it could be two people, it could be three people on here, it could be four people, it could be Alex on the other line who's hard rock, can come. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't matter. Understand? It's, it's the it's the, the camaraderie that you create here, and and people be able to express themselves and have some sort of attention and people listening. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, Leah seems to be the only girl that's on here. Well, God bless you, Mama. We we but, have we have another we one have that comes. That yeah. For her, though. Yeah. I noticed yeah. everybody has that little respect. Yeah. And I'm not sure if she's young or old, but we we are. Uh, you know, whatever she texts, I noticed that you you uh, you compromise on what you're saying, and you also you put yourself in her shoes and her yeah. age. Yeah, and that counts. Yeah, that counts, man. Because the one like thing, Braze, Braze is mad hard right. Look at Braze; he looks Word. like juice. You know, Tupac and juice and shit. Word. You better have hard on, hard on. you better you have his I mean? sixty five dollars hey, on he Friday. Think, he think he think as a DJ. I don't know Philly. PSG, Green. People always saying, "Come on, man, it's yeah, Tony G." One, it's the first time he ever turned his camera on. We got him, yo. Knock on his door. Time, I want to hear Copy. We got him. Ten four. He go. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> No, but yeah, when when I started this stream, I wanted to make sure that everybody knew that everybody in here was equal. They can say whatever they wanted to say, and they weren't gonna be judged like that. And when when women come into the into the channel, they are to be respected like every other person. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man. we joke we joke with them and all that other stuff, but you know, I try to keep it at a certain line because there there are times you can be you get too far with a joke when it comes to a female being in the presence and all that other stuff. So you know, that's how I like to to be. I'm the type of person, if you came up to me and told me something, it's serious to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to get something off your chest, you can get something off your chest. I don't even need to speak. I, I just let you know, yo, I'm here. I'm listening. There was one guy at the job that he just lost his mother. And I don't know him from a hole in the wall, but we're in the elevator. And he just starts screaming about his brother. And oh. everybody's looking at him like it's crazy. And I just looked at him like, yo, bro, I mean, your brother lost your mom too. You know what oh. I'm saying? Like, he's going through some stuff also. So, you know, when you... When you calm down and you think about it, you know, try to put yourself in his shoes. You're not the Let only one you, in pain. I, you know that I work on the fifth floor of the heart center, so we have the ICU there. Yeah. So I go into the bathroom one day, and there's this dude, and um, love all people, <laughs> yeah. right? Doesn't matter what race, what color. This white dude that's there doesn't look nothing like me, not dressed nothing like me, looks like a businessman. He's pacing back and forth in that little-ass bathroom. So I'm like, so I went up to him and I said, what's wrong? And he looked at me. I said, just tell me what's wrong. And he said, my father's in there. He's about to die and I can't face him because he expects me to be strong for him and I can't break down. I said, give me a hug. And he hugged me. He just started crying. He let it out. Yeah. Never met the dude in my life. No, yeah. Never met him again. But you see, but that's human compassion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's understanding what, what, uh, um, Putting yourself in people's shoes, man. Yeah, yo, yeah. You just need a hug. Yo, mm -hmm. Alex, show enough. You know me. Hell yeah. You know me. I mean, I joke around a lot, but. That's why I joke. Bro, Sorry me. to interrupt. Nah, yeah. I mean, to eat my people. Nah, that's my I dude. Nah, dude. I love I'm this dude. We man. all love him at, at work. Word. My my man. Heck yeah, bro. I was man. listening to everything you said. I agree with you 100%, man. This is family, man. Sometimes you spend more time with. 
us than yeah. you do with other people. There you Maybe go. We, you... Might listen, we might listen to you more than other people do. Like, yo, sometimes we just need to talk. That moment we spoke to the toe in the show was the moment that helped me. Yeah. Yo, there, know. there was there was a kid when I first started streaming and he came into my channel and he wanted I guess either the courage or someone to say it was okay for him to come out as gay. His parents. Mm -hmm. And we spoke for about an Love hour. Yeah, we we spoke for about an hour. And I was trying to tell him like, yo, man, that's who you are, that's who you are. You know, mm -hmm. you should be able to trust your parents and, you know, open up to them. And if they don't get it right away, they'll get it when the time is right for them. You know what I'm saying? But be who you are. And like a couple months later, he came back. He's like, "Yo, I opened up to them and they accepted me for who they were. I want to thank you, blah blah blah." I'm, I sometimes I get messages when I was on Mixer. I got a message saying like, "Yo, bro, you have no idea. You saved my life." I'm like, "I didn't do nothing." <laughs> you it know, he's like, "I was going through, the, I was going through some depression." Yeah, and the shit you were saying was real because I was also talking about my mom's and different relationships and how to deal with anxiety and all that other stuff. And this dude was just listening. He wasn't even part, being a part of the chat. He was just listening. I was like, you know, that that's what made me go, you know what, this streaming shit, even if I don't become like famous and a millionaire, you help somebody. Even yeah. if it, even if it, the somebody I'm helping is myself, somebody's getting help. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You know how many people come in and say, you're my favorite streamer, bro. I've never seen you. Word. Mm -hmm. Nah, yeah, it's because like, show, show's bro. hilarious. That's why. <laughs> Listen, that's both of us, bro. You, I know you have people come in and be like, "You my favorite streamer." And you like, who? What? <laughs> who are you? Where I be on some? Like, you be who the hell are you? Yeah, I, I my favorite streamer <laughs> before uh, show is. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen here, what you said? I said Toe's the favorite streamer. You somewhat last place favorite streamer. Last. What? <laughs> it's me, Cruz, and you. <laughs> All right, I see. I just want to say something real quick about ahead, uh, Toes and Show. You guys, you impress me a lot. Why? Because not only because I'm freaking on here and you guys talked about this before when I see you all the time. You guys are very smart individuals. Now, what I consider an intelligent person is someone who knows a little bit about everything. And anytime I had conversations with you guys, like I joke a lot, but I'm not stupid. Yeah. So I any subject that I will bring up to any to you guys, you guys knew a little bit of every mm -hmm. anything and everything. Mm -hmm. Even showing up bust out Spanish one day, I said, "What the? Yeah, I don't speak Spanish, it. and I'm Puerto Rican." <laughs> I still haven't given that addition over here. Watch. Why right. When I, when I bring out the poppy sweet. As young men, <laughs> you guys have that y'all cut from my claw. Right, and that is the old school clause, which is respect. Understand? You yeah. give respect, you get respect. Right. No matter what gender, age, quality, name, love all people, you guys show that. Yeah. And that's why I, 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 that's why I admire you, young cats. If I had kids, I would definitely make sure that they be around you guys. Hey. Because uh, you're doing dope. something positive, you guys speak positive. We all joke around. We all mm -hmm. could get gangster. Or whatever nah. it is. I I could tell you stories. I could show you wounds. Told from the like, Bronx. It, that's just, yeah, it's the word. <laughs> I'm, I'm not supposed to be here. So <laughs> none of us. Yeah, but it's about um, it's about that old school respect uh for. Women, people, people alike, people who are not alike, and the intelligence that you have that that just uh is something like it, it's hard it's hard to find. And all I can say is that uh I just hope that the people who who stream, I mean not stream, but join your stream, uh, realize that they are not with people who are uh, how could I say it tainted by the new stuff that's going on, even though you guys could go new, middle, old school, mm -hmm. you have that knowledge, but that you guys are spending your quality time to make something happen, but you're doing it in a positive way. Now, if you did it in a negative way, you will have a million streams. Trust me. Gang, gang, boogie, 
all that shit. I'm yeah. more than gray, too sue, all that crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that gets views, right? But that, but that will get you knocked off when you need to stoop. Mm-hmm. Also, it's not good for the soul. Yeah. We live right because what you reap is what you sow, and karma's mm-hmm. a bitch, bro. Yeah, Damn. for real, karma's a bitch. Damn. We don't gotta so watch our back. That, that's all I want to say is like, thank you for even having me on camera, and Amen. I appreciate you guys. I don't want to take over your show. No, yo, yo, bro, you you are, you are welcome here, my man. You want to keep talking? You keep talking, bro. The the stream has not said a word in the chat, so they listening to you, my mm-hmm. man. Because I'm an old <laughs> it's man. A, it's a pleasure power, to be bro. here. Yo, this is what I this is what I tell Big Food. This is what this is what I tell Big Food. Yeah, if, they old, I'm old, bro. <laughs> this is what I tell <laughs> Big Food. Old. If if someone if someone that's older than you want to spit game to you, listen. Cause they've been there. Yeah. They've been there. Wisdom. We they've been that. there. Before you yeah. trip, I tripped on that rock. Word. Let me, let me Word. Take you no. trip there. Yeah, but <laughs> it, um, whether it's negative or positive, that they kick that game to you. What happens is a smart individual will have that filter, will yeah. have that funnel, and that funnel that you put into to uh, you know make sure not everything just just goes into that that uh that motor yeah understand that 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 filters in and then you can filter in and out because i grew up doing i mean i hung out during the crack era yeah right and um people disrespect the uh, uh crackheads you know i've seen my friends snuffing crackheads mm-hmm. i see my you know uh robbing crackheads uh of course you know just like now i said buying broken ants stuff like that right but how co- the, the crackheads respected me. Why? Because I would sit down and talk to them, and they had that attention for me for as long as the attention that they had. Yeah. But they could, they could kick a jewel to you. It, it's only, it, it, you understand? You always it, show it's them only that addiction that held them back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and put them in a different form. But they could tell you something that'll change your life if you listen. You Where understand? And so that's why mm-hmm. I say this channel that you have is for all people. Different color, races, age, whatever. Love all people, bro. Hey, man. Love man. all people. You know, crazy. half of the time we don't even know. We don't even ask. I don't know what Big Food is, Aaliyah. I don't, I don't care. Wherever you're from, man, as long as you are in, enjoying yourself. And I... I you, you never know. I might be entertaining you for that one hour. You could have ran out or been thinking about something that is in your brain. That's yeah. making you that one hour you might have forgot about it. So yeah. you know, I, yeah. I I appreciate that people like you notice it, man, because me and Toe it, it means it's a not lot. As easy as look, word. Yeah. It, it, and yeah, and let me just say now. off off the chain, just like off the rip or whatever. Y'all some fly dudes, man. Hey man, we, uh, we when I was your up. age, I, I I was the same way. Like you guys are just some super fly dudes. Man, like I never seen y'all me. bunny at all. <laughs> like, you know, man, you know I'm old. Old. Don't tell nobody. Like, what are these do? What are these dudes doing? Like they're wearing that shirt and they're just throwing it on the garbage, like handing it to people because <laughs> <laughs> it's never the same clothes. Like. <laughs> Yeah, shit, you, know, yeah. you know how Bronx does it. So. Yeah, 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 you know, shit. There be times oh, I be on the wall. Yeah, I be bu- yeah. I be looking at a yeah, shirt. I saw I saw all your jerseys, man. I was <laughs> like, this guy is a this guy's a fan of something, and it shows, man. Hey, it shows. Yeah. My yo, Yankees, man. I love uh, them. Yo, I, I, I used to be that fly dude too, man. Uh, Hot with a car, man. the rope chain, it, and everything, going to the projects home. <laughs> 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 but that's yeah, how it was though that's how it was <laughs> we gotta have we gotta have my boy mike come through and dj for us oh Ooh. yeah he's, he, he said that once he gets his his program compatible with the update for the mac he's gonna make a video for us he got the setup. <laughs> i see him he about the alex sensation the whole shit i see yeah him. man you guys are not the only ones with the talent mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i like that you're not scared yeah, to man. let it show. Some people are scared, to like, yo, oh, I'm too old. Nah, uh, man, just, enjoy I, your I, life. Do your shit. Yeah, I've been doing it since the, I, I, the 90s, but, you know, with the vinyls. Like, if you want to see my vinyls, I got some of the vinyls Ooh. here. Ooh, he got the classics. Got he got the... 
What's your favorite but, vinyl um, to scratch? Do you have like a certain vinyl that makes a certain noise that you like? I don't know if you're a scratcher. Yeah. I can scratch. You want to see it? Yeah, yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear this. Show, show the stream yeah. some stuff. The thing is that my, my, my stuff is like um, what I was going to say. My lights don't really light up when I hit it. You see how it goes blank? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, it still look fly though. If you wouldn't have said nothing, I see lights. Honestly. Whoa. Yeah, hold on. Let me try to get to a good angle. Uh maybe here? Hold on one second. Let me get this off. I'm not... saying they're playing fucking country music, but that's <laughs> yeah. all right. Hey, big big remix of the country song. Right, do you here. see yeah. something there? Hey, that uh, is. Yeah, we see the yeah, it's we good. see the gist of it, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try something yeah. for y'all. Let me just try right. something. Hold on. He doesn't. He hey, doesn't have a channel yet, Big Food, but I was trying to get in the stream. Hey, we gonna get him I'm in. Gonna try to put an instrument through. Hold on. Let me All get right. an instrument through. That's dope. One, two, one, two. Oh no! Don't don't sample Bracey's voice, please. First of all, that's not even maybe this here. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put this on. on here. Yeah. Let's see. Be a hate. Don't be a hater all your life. Of course, first sample me. Ooh. Can you hear that? Yeah, hey, can we yeah. hear it? Sounding good. Hold on, because y'all caught me. Yo, take your time, play it, take your time. Player, we we enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm DJ in the <laughs> But I'm gonna give it a try. Give me All a right. second. Special guest. I just changed the title of the stream that we got a DJ in the booth. Hey. hey. I'm gonna go fast man. I was just telling so we need we need to Hold on. Hey, you go. I don't have the lights to show me shit. Ooh. That's all you're missing, though. The lights and you're good to go. Yeah, his setup is dope. That's what I'm saying. You what you talking about, brother? You almost look, you're looking better than me. That shit was dope. That shit was. What you talking about? That shit was dope. We hit him with the DJ sound. So I like that. <laughs> that ain't nice. I like it, man. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm trying to recharge my shit. We got a DJ Poochie in the building, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I hope that was a good angle, at least. You know? Nah, yeah, that was a dope angle. That was a dope angle. Nah, that was dope. That's what I was saying. That was perfect with the little 
I'm beyond. You look like you was in Florida scratching. Wait. <laughs> oh yeah, we're Florida Bronx. Right? <laughs> Miami Bronx. Had the little trees and everything. Cheers, baby. Cheers, my brother. Cheers. Wait a minute. Where my drink? Hold on. Cheers. <clears throat> Yo, it's in your bring pocket. Your diet, bring your diet coke at, uh, out, to. Got you right here playing shit. I know. I know you. My boy always got his little <laughs> bottle. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta. Yeah, I always had the taste. You always have a have a taste. And shit, you know what I'm saying? It's it's taste. I made some brownies oh. earlier today. Them shits was dope. Ooh, you <laughs> made. You gotta learn how to make brownies. You wear the white apron. Nah, nah, nah. nah. That, that's for my OnlyFans. That's for my OnlyFans. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> you guys remember that uh, that Christmas with Kumar? I love you, Kumar. The pancake box. The box. <laughs> I love. But they shot him. He was like, "Ouch." <laughs> I love you, Kumar. It was the pancake maker oh, in the box. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they shot him. He was like, "Ouch." Out. <laughs> <laughs> and when they tied up Kumar, when they tied up Harold Har- Kumar, he was like, "I love you, Kumar." <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. You remember those old Van Damme movies? The old Van Damme. Oh, movies? oh yeah. yeah. He had such a. Bro. It was all the action, right? But he couldn't even speak English. He had a bad accent, so he was like, "Where is he?" He was like, "In the fucking lot." <laughs> in the fucking lot. <laughs> Where? That was like, you know, I mean, yeah, I remember. I remember Street Fighter <laughs> when he did this little speech for M Bison. He goes, "But we gonna all get backed up, and we gonna all go home." <laughs> what? <laughs> we all get backed up, and we all go home. But I'm not going home. <laughs> I'm gonna get on my boat yeah. and go kick that some bitch I Tyson <laughs> so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where, is, where is he from? Um, <laughs> is he Welsh? The, oh, no, the, damn USA. The, the muscles from Brussels. He's from Brussels. Brussels. Some own. shit. Some shit like that. I know his nickname oh, was the muscles. The muscles from Brussels. Who are Brussels? Never. When he was a kid, man, <laughs> he was a kickboxer, so he was the muscles from Brussels. Oh, yeah. But shit, yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, Van Damme. They were like, "Yo, where are you?" He was like, "In the fucking lot." <laughs> Van Damme like, oh, and Arnold shit. couldn't do a movie together because no one could be, no one's able to tell what they're saying. Yo, do it now. Makes, do what now? Get packed up. <laughs> that makes me feel bad though. Those two guys didn't even know English and they made it. Bro. We Yo, yeah, man, that shows you. <laughs> what are we doing wrong? We were born here. <laughs> we was born the wrong color if we wanted to make it. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> shit. How many? The only thing that was kicking was me when I didn't wait deodorant and shit. Oh, yeah. But these niggas. <laughs> Let us Yo, not know English word, that man. well. They'd be like, nah, motherfucker, you gonna have to go back to your country. <laughs> it was so, nah. So, yeah, but, yeah, but look, you become famous when you don't know English. Yeah, all right. Hell yeah, yeah, man. You, come, you, you heard what they said to her? College, everything, son. You heard what they said to her when she first came? Sophia Guerrero? Whatever her name? Uh, she, Guerrero? She, she, the, if, Guerrero? What? You know who I'm talking about. Who? <laughs> <laughs> he hit you with the butt. <laughs> Guerrero? Wait a minute. Well, Yo, she was a him. she was a brunette, and they told her like, "Nah, you ain't gonna make it no way. You gotta be, you gotta change your hair, your accent, all the other shit." You it you know you never heard, heard her story. Was, she was like for grill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was like for grill. <laughs> a brownie for my brownie. <laughs> I saw her. She yeah, the first color. time I saw her was in the um <clears throat> was in that Kevin Hart soul plane. That's the first time I saw her. Oh, she was the the, the pilot. No, no, no. She was the one that got on the board. That's the first time. That was I Sophia. Didn't... I the first time I saw her, I think it was in the Medea movie. Medea oh. goes to jail. For real? I oh, wait, are we t- are we talking about the same person? <laughs> We not talking about the same person. Nah, no. you talk, you, first of all, you call this Sophia, <laughs> Sophia, Oselita. Well, you know what, I was man? Trying to figure out Mad- Where was she in Madea? Word. Wait, which one we talking about? What? Oh my God! Yo, <laughs> there's only one about. Sophia Vergara. Hit him with the button again. Word. Sure. No, yeah, yeah, we talking about the same person. <laughs> See, that's I know who I'm talking about. Y'all don't know who y'all talking about. We talking about the same man. person. She was Madea goes to jail. When Madea was in jail, the Spanish chick that was her cellmate that that baked brownies for her, 
the crazy fucking Spanish chick. What? Y'all don't y'all don't remember the movie then? That was her. That was her fucking. What? Shut the fuck up. Yo, I can't believe upstairs they playing Rocky. You know? Oh man. I am the fire that's ready to fight. <laughs> He's trying to compete with me and shit. Ah, like, see? yo, there's no competition, son. I'll put a hip hop beat to that. That's my phone. I ain't gonna lie. Word. That motherfuckers don't know. It's just like, da, 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 da. Bam, bam, bam. They're ready to fight. I'm ready to take the fire skate up and be like, yo, y'all want it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> to yo, you gotta be like Club Elaine on them and shit. <laughs> Come here, woman. Let me show you what a real mm-hmm. man is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got hit with the. Uh. <laughs> yo, y'all making my boogies come down. Give me a second. <laughs> I, that I, tissue. I got a blow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No homo. Mm? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, my fucking eyes are red and shit. I look what? like the game in Compton. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the you just fuck? finished hanging out with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Word. Nah, not Snoop. That nigga's crit. But shit. What the fuck? I feel like I'm hanging out with Whack 100. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo. the mission's not working, bro. What? I don't know. The mission's not working. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I'm on Twitch. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go I tried Twitch. twice, and I said, you know what? Psh, I'm good. I've learned you don't force me. You don't force anything to work. If it don't work the first or second time, go back to what you know. Fatality. It, it worked. Just, it worked. He sounds sound like my ex girlfriend. Yeah. Exact words. It will, it will don't work eventually. It. Don't force anything, bro. Because, yo. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't, not, work. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't yo. Work. When we first started streaming, I had we had the most problems in the world trying to connect to yeah, yeah. Twitch and this and that and that and this. And I would be there for hours. You made it, though, man. You hours, it. bro. Yeah, right. Trying to get my Elgato to work. Like, I'd be on stream screaming like, who the fuck touched my shit? Yo, Word. for hours and not getting nothing done. Then I realized I the shit ain't working. I'm good. I'll do it tomorrow. Or I'm not gonna do it. On, I'll figure it out whenever I come the fuck down. So Glimmage I'll don't want to work. I can't. Too. I can't stream on that shit. I got Twitch. And I if I can't stream else. on Twitch, I got YouTube. I got YouTube. <laughs> Word. I can't stream on YouTube. Your fellas. I stream my OnlyFans. Chats. What they saying? Because I can't see these chats, bro. Oh, that. All right. Um. Yeah. He goes, uh, Poochie, you need I don't to start. Ignore them. He, uh, Big Foo said you need to start live streaming or get a, a YouTube channel. And then Aaliyah laughed at the palm trees. Nah, man, I, leave, I leave it up to you, niggas, bro. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> yeah. you guys. Nah, it's all good. We, uh, we, we say it. We say it. <laughs> yeah, we I can't. I, plus, yeah, yeah, it's eighteen plus in my shit. In my shit. Um, my shit. Yeah, still, I shouldn't say that, that though. It's just that I'm freaking forty plus. Fuck that. Yeah, I hear you. My bad, y'all. Oh, make make fly say he gonna start streaming more often. You should make fly. What? And Alex said he got a pickup yeah, line so, for so for. Welcome, welcome. Yo, oh he know he shit. he know he welcome here. Hell yeah, everybody. This is the open. You love all people, baby. Word. Alex, Alex, which is Aaliyah's brother, said he got a pickup line for Big Food, but Big Food ain't responding to him yet. What? Why he trying to pick up Big Food? Yeah. What? Big Food going. Big Food going through some stuff, bro. Bird. You know, Big Food. Big Food asked I'm yesterday. Home. Big Food asked yesterday before we got offline. He wanted to talk about what's the best way to approach a woman. I I believe or something like that, or yeah. or how to yeah. holler at him or something. I was trying to get Zen up in here so that way she could be the female voice, but she's sick, so we're gonna have to give her some time before she officially debut on the podcast. It's okay, I'll <laughs> talk like this from now on, Big Food. <laughs> oh, All right, Big Food. Me, big Food back. Shit, we could, we could I, ask. Come, I come from the day where I let my chain and my clothes do the talking and my face. Hey, yeah, hey, see, Big, Big Food think he's still in that day. That don't happen no more. <laughs> Big Food don't even got a chain. He lying. <laughs> Aaliyah said, no, nah, Alex don't pick up, guys. You know what's crazy? You know what works for me, man? It was I just let him come to me. Hey, every time, I, every time, oh, well, yeah, every time got- I try to holler at a chick, it never works. But when they come to me, it, some some shit happens. So oh, it's smart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, every you time what, I work with me was a a, a a a friend, somebody's friend. You know? Oh, no, nah, I can't do that. Everybody friend I know is married or 
Cause I'd be like, yo, what's what's her name? Trying to get you know to write her name down in the palm so that way I can sign for him. Like, oh, she got married and kids. Like, damn, that's a long ass name. Are there any spaces in between that? Or like, like how do you spell she's married with kids? I gotta write her. I gotta sign her name down. Like, what's her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I don't ask people no more their names. I go. I've I've went up to chicks and be like, yo, is her name married with kids? And like, what? Like. Yeah, most of the time I ask, is her name married with kids. Oh, like, really? no, it's not. So, all right, I'm gonna go ask her her name yeah. then, because you know, apparently <laughs> she's the yeah. only girl in the world that's not married with kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard to find as as you get older, especially. Word. And, but and, the, the 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 thing about that, kudos to all those dudes who got with you know who got with girls who have kids, because that takes that takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot out of you, man. It does. It does. Yeah. yeah. It does. I, I I've dealt Ooh, with I, I dealt with some chicks that had kids and I dealt with chicks that had kids and were still married. Yeah, <laughs> and the thing is that when you're a nice person, it's like you know they want to make you daddy sometimes, you know. Yeah, nah. And it's like no, nah, you know. Hell nah. Fuck out here, dude. Oh, oh, they, oh, they think... I tell you my secret. You want me to tell you my secret though? What I used to do, I would get with a girl with a kid. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm coming by. I'll be there at eight, yeah. And then I run late. When I hit nine o'clock, I kiss the baby. And it, it, like, oh, she got to go to bed. Oh, for real? Oh. So it's just me and her watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's you it. Gotta, you That's gotta, it. You got you to see them chicks after nine. The one who had the kids discipline, not the ones that had the kids that go to bed at one in the morning. Yeah, mm-hmm. that one you got the FaceTime. Yeah, mm-hmm. do a little Coney Island thing. Word. During the day, you know. <laughs> Word. What I mean. Word. Put them on the rides and shit, you know. Yeah. Oh Get them God, tied out. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, I never seen him fall asleep at two o'clock in the afternoon. Nah, nah, it's so all good. <laughs> we, I, read, <laughs> I adopted a dog for the day. Chase his ass the whole park. <laughs> Yo, rest Bite him, Chico. Your dog, man. Rest oh, your Aries, dog, your German Shepherd. Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was. I, nah, nah, nah. Aries, Aries, my first one. Mike was with us for the first one. Word, that yeah, Mike, man, that, that yeah. right there. I lost mine last year, uh, fifteen years old, and that's, that's it. That's it. Still be having me crying like a baby here. Nah, yeah. Here. Yo, that's I was kid. I was watching. They they have this new documentary, a docu series on Netflix. It's uh, the canine thing where this guy trains dogs, and oh, yeah, yo, his oh, yeah. yeah, his dogs are trained like crazy. And I was like, damn, bro. I remember my Aries. We used to let him open up the gate by himself. He used to. He was he could listen. He would listen and he was protective of my mom. And my eyes was leaking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just thinking of my yeah. damn dog. Then I think about this one I yeah. got and I'm like, damn, son. If I had more time, you know you what I'm saying? That. You see, but that's why I admire about you. You bridged it. You got another dog. You bri- you, you you formed the bridge and you got another dog and you, you went for it. For me, I'm not ready for that, man. That was yeah. my baby because I don't have kids. So, oh. Um, <clears throat> 15 years of my life i didn't take vacations my wife nothing we because we didn't want to leave the you know german shepherds they're they're fucking they're so loyal my wife would go away to paraguay because she's from paraguay she would go away for 30 days that dog would be 30 days in the fucking door waiting no yeah anybody ring the bell whatever she think it's her and then my mm-hmm. wife would come home and she diss my wife like yeah whatever <laughs> nah, yeah. That's you love me. Me. My, mine, was, you love me here. mine was like that. Yeah. Aries was like that when uh, I knew my mom was coming home around a certain time, and I was just getting home from school, so I was always home. So I would have Aries on the porch, and because I knew mom was coming home, and we'd be sitting there chilling and all that. I look at my watch, I look at the corner, and I see my mom turn the corner, and I just turn around to Aries, like, Where's mommy? And he just starts looking. Like, he'll run up and down the porch, start looking. And the minute he catches Very eyes smart. with mom, yo, he started, he got on the fence and he started doing his little shake with his hips. And my mom was like, look, my, my, my merengue dog. And that was every morning, <laughs> every morning. And then he'll sit by the door. And if my mom ever called him because there's nobody on the block, he'll open up the door and then go run. He'll normally jump on us, but he'll never jump on my mom. He'll run around my mom and then run back into the porch like, all right, I said hi. Now I'm going to wait for you to come here so you can pet me. Because he knew he knew better than than to jump on my mom. Yeah. I'm gonna be your show, man. your show. I got a real special effect for you. You ready? Listen to this. Toilet, baby. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I could do it again if y'all want it. Let me know. Yeah. I got that shit That's Brazy's on tap. K sound. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but, yeah, but dogs are special, man. I'm telling you, they're better than human beings. Yeah, they can All be. Around. You know, they don't, they they don't, really, be, the, yeah. they don't really have you, you know, other things that humans have. You know what's crazy, though? Cats can be also. Like, yeah. the cat I have you, you now. You know what's the problem with cats? I'm going to tell you what's the problem with cats. Cats won't. They don't have the muscles in their mouth to smile. <laughs> yeah, and that's the problem. Yeah, but they purr. I can't deal with you. You can't. Smile. But they Get purr, out. so that that's like an indicator. But my first cat, Storm, I, I I got her off the street. I literally picked. I got her off the street when she was a little little kitten, and ever the since then, no, ever since then she was always with me. Like that was my girl. Like you know what I'm saying. Like if I had people, if I had people over. She will be on my lap looking at them like, who is this? Like, she'll get in between us. Oh, you know yes. what I'm saying? And, like, I would sit on the couch, and if I'm in a position, she'll go in underneath my arm, sit on my lap, and that was, that was my cat. That was my cat. Yep. No one mm -hmm. can even know it. My, my, my dad, like, babied that cat, but that was mine. If I called her, she came. I, she was trained. Like, she could be anywhere. I'd be like, yo, Storm, come over here. And she'd and she come. This yep. one I got now is just fucking um, lazy as shit. I had a cat before I got the German Shepherd. So when I got the German Shepherd, the cat was like, what? She did the Scooby-Doo. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <man?" laughs> and so, uh, um, the, the dog, she was a puppy, two months. She pissed on the floor. And I threw a napkin on the floor and the cat wiped it. And let me tell you, I was like, oh, shit. And the cat was in charge of the house, not the German Shepherd. <laughs> that was yeah. crazy. Yeah. She had no nails. It's, it's oh, like a mom. Had no nails. They yeah. have that respect. Yeah. <laughs> Aaliyah said oh, her just, baby. Aaliyah said her baby uh, sky smiles. Aaliyah, I think, has like six cats. How many cats do you have, Aaliyah? What? Yeah, she got mad cats. But Marcia, what? <laughs> oh, no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So you bought me out with them effects. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, put him his toe over there. We 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 who <laughs> we in sync. Who in the <laughs> blue <laughs> hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? What? You never know where it's coming from. Word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, man. <clears throat> I just put on shorts for this show because I'll be in my underwears in here, bro. <laughs> Yo, dude, I, I put on a shirt for this show. You I don't guys are special. I don't wear you clothes put on in my house. Shorts for this show. <laughs> I don't I don't wear clothes in my house, man. <laughs> I don't like wearing clothes in my house. <laughs> I'll be ordering food. I gotta make sure I got a shirt next to me because I'm not nah. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even put Yo, a shirt a on. I'll be outside without no fucking shirt. I'll be clothes at work with a tie on and shit in my underwear <laughs> and my little short socks. My chancleta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, so all right, Aaliyah got three cats. Damn. And we had yeah. no and she's wow, getting a baby Aaliyah. she's getting a baby pug tomorrow. My boy showed up oh to the God. like Crap. surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <And undies. laughs> <Got him. laughs> yeah, man. Animals are the best. Yeah, real. yeah. I I wish I had like a baby lion or tiger or some shit. You, you know what's crazy? Yeah. That'll be hot. Yo, they're hey, fucking I'll, I'll bring it cute right as on shit. Like this. <laughs> Word. They're cute as shit, man. What yeah, the, 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 the thing about the thing about animals is like they're, they're loyal to it. They're like babies. Whereas like a baby, they don't care how you look. They don't care how, you know, what you do, you know, what your job is, how much money you make. They're there. They love you unconditionally. Like that's the word. Yeah, unconditionally. Yeah. Like and Aries, they never you, looked sure at me. You guys have friends who are like that too. Yeah. Oh unconditionally, yeah. Unconditionally, man. They love you through up and down. Yeah. I know damn tired. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Your show is too hard for this. Yo. <laughs> I'm always trying to get sentimental and shit. And she'll be like, motherfucker. <laughs> nah, bro, go, go ahead and get sentimental. I got the sound effects for that too, bro. I know. Yo, throw on some boy George or some shit. Yeah, my boy George, my boy, my boy told. He got, no, he got. It, who is that? <laughs> no, shit, George Michael. I don't know his name again. 
<laughs> Come on, man. We don't play it. <laughs> we don't play it. Guilty feet. Got no rhythm. <laughs> and I'm never going to dance again. <laughs> and yo, and that, that, yo, let me tell you, that goes back to what you were saying, Toes. He was gay. Yeah. And I still rock to his shit. Yeah, bro. yo, yo, that's got to be one of the hardest songs I've ever heard. Love all people. Yeah. It. One of my one of my best friends was gay, bro. And the thing is that all, all it is is a sexual reference. You yeah. know, as long as they got respect for you. Now we could all attest to uh, what we call, and it's a bad term, but it's called flamers. Yeah. You know, niggas like ah, you know that. Yeah. Who want attention and everything? That is that. That's hard to deal with. You yeah, know? it's it's uncomfortable because you you don't know if it's real or not. That to me, yeah. that's what it is. I can't stand fakeness. If you're really like that, then be really like that. You know what I'm saying? But if you're doing that for show, get away from me. You know what I'm saying? But my brother's gay, bro. And let me tell you, I'm, hey. I've been lucky in life because I'm an ugly dude. <laughs> they're, they're not <laughs> you not know what's crazy? You so, know what? You know what's crazy? You know what's? I get I, I get hit on. Find me cute, bro. They <laughs> cute when I be like, I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> they love me, bro. Oh yeah. I get hit on by dudes a lot. Like, not a lot, lot, but more than I've ever wanted to get hit on by dudes. Like, <laughs> I was in Florida. I got hit on by a dude, and my cousin was the only one that realized this. And I turned around to my to my uncle. I'm like, because is this motherfucker? Yeah, I'm like, is this motherfucker hitting on me? He goes, yeah, he's been hitting on you for an hour. What? And I, what? Yo, I turned up. good looking, bro. That's what they say. Like, but, <laughs> I, I know show right now, outside his window, he got a gang of fucking. Oh, yeah. Uh, a gay dude what? that want to get with him, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, show got to definitely, definitely. He be I'm hiding in his house, but he's, he know. I'm lucky. I'm ugly. I know. I, I'm good. Nah, bro. Y'all niggas are some handsome dudes, man. That, that's what, that's praise, outside show's praise, house right there. Is looking up. He's like looking at looking up at heaven and fucking like, at Tupac. Look at those Word. faces he's making. That look, nigga's hot. Looking like Damn. Tyrone and shit. You can call on Tyrone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Walking to your room like surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Diva said it's the shiny head toe jam, Mister Clean. <laughs> shit. Yo, look at my head. I look like a freaking thumb. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. I look like a thumb with a beard. Yo, but it was the crazy shit. Yeah. I know y'all had to dim your shit. <laughs> no, for real. I had to point. I have a I have a light right in my face and I had to like point it down a little bit. Cause you know, I don't want the, the I don't want my forehead to reflect back at the light and break it. Yeah, <laughs> man. Somebody told me put beeswax, it'll get and I'm like, nah, I'm not nah. Doing that that's for dreads. Word. I mean, you we put too much shit in our head to begin with. That's why we lost it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. You know how I lost my hair. I, I'm almost for sure. Not only was the fades, but it was and and the clippers, but it was the freaking gel. Yeah, I had to put my gel. Had my shit curly. Oh, oh yeah, looking nice. Like mm -hmm. I'll be sure. Do you wanna wanna? Do you wanna wanna? Yeah. I'm you. sleep. <laughs> Diva says that. <laughs> 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 Yo, I did the same thing. I used to wet my hair, shake my head, and it will curl up naturally. And then I just put a little gel in there to keep it where it's at. And then I had my braids in mad tight. I told the girl, I was like, if I don't wake up with a headache, you're going to have to do it again. Yo, I had, I had, had braids at one point when um when uh that shit, what was that? Uh, Boys in the Hood? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, not Boys in the Hood. The other one was Menace Old Dog. Menace, uh, Menace to Society. Menace to Society. With Yo, I had the braids like that. They put extensions. I had that for like a week, <laughs> son. But then all the Puerto Ricans looking at me like, "Yo, you trying to be black?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, "Nah, I'm not trying to be black. I'm just going to the stove." <laughs> the word. <laughs> Diva said, "All we need is juices and berries and shit." <laughs> all the <laughs> all the juices and berries was in the refrigerator. We had to eat that shit. Yo, Let my mom catch like, me trying to put berries like, in my head. Trying to kill, they kill your cousin in front of you. <laughs> you ain't gonna do nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who's out there. <laughs> Old people, young people, we blasting these dudes. <laughs> Shit. Hey, yeah, I was, man. I was like, what's his name? Wheels from uh, Don't Be a Menace. <laughs> you know the nigga with no legs, like, come on, let's stay on the porch, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
You seen you the, the poetry? MC Hammer thing. Yeah. <laughs> I had those the different color rubber bands in my head trying to pull it out and shit. <laughs> Yo, when they woke up in the hospital, he was like, I can't feel my legs. They were like, oh, nigga, you've been paralyzed your whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you've been paralyzed your whole life. You never felt your legs. Like, oh, you're right. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh. Yo, now I'm that I'm that old dude on the porch. Remember when his mother called him in when he started to me? You better get your ass in here, Bartholomew. You better clean your room. Word. My mama said I can't be out here no more, man. Let's just stay on the porch. Let's hold the porch down. <laughs> Yo, but let me tell you, during that time, man, I was drinking forties like the like it was a Heine, bro. That was the thing. Forty ounces. Oh yeah. Play basketball, work out on the pull up bar, right? Have a 40. That shit didn't make sense. But it did the body good. Yeah, you know? Shit. You got to confuse the body sometimes. Like, yo, are we chilling or are we working out? We don't know. <laughs> Never know. Shit, it's so good, though, man. Fuck it. It's better than what they doing now with the vegan shit. I don't know what's going on with the vegan shit. Oh, yeah, shit. yo. Back, back then, you know what was the shit? Can't touch this. Dun, oh, dun, yo, dun, the show. Hit dun, him up dun, with it. Dun, dun. <laughs> Drug oh, dealer, my you know crazy? I don't have that song. Later on, I was like, wait a minute. That's crazy. That used to be one of my samples. I actually took it off. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, love like you. They didn't know what that was. Oh man, I love that fucking yeah. sample. I told Shaw, I was like, keep that shit. He goes, all right, and then deletes it. And the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, fuck out of here. This is why I yeah, kick man. you off I my damn channel. I got a whole library of uh um of of uh music that came out and what they sampled so i played the original the music yeah. that they sampled and it'll blow your fucking mind bro yeah everything that's crazy James brown you know everything uh, that's cr- i remember it was just, back then it was creative bro yeah they were very creative Chaco quest p rock seal smooth <laughs> premiere everybody they just they 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 made those samples they made those songs puff daddy Oh People yeah! Look at Puff Daddy. Like he made those hits. Can't touch with Big D. There you go. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, show. Yeah. Um. Did you guys see the new Biggie <clears throat> documentary on Netflix? Oh no, oh, I, I haven't. I haven't show? checked that out yet. You better. Yo, I saw that shit, man. That shit almost made me tear because yeah, it's cool. a different perspective. Now you sit back and you say, "Oh, I've seen them all, right?" The Biggie and Tupac documentaries, nah. This has nothing to do with him being shot. It was him growing up on Fulton Street in Brooklyn. And I remember growing up during that time, <clears throat> um, Brooklyn people were known to rob you. Like, you couldn't go to Full Street Mall, Fulton Street Mall. If you go to Delancey Street, because Delancey Street downtown in LES, you would go there to get your leathers. Because they had none but a strip on Irvington Avenue that you get your leather coats, right? Yikes. You had to go with your boys, because the minute you hit the train station, they might try to rob you, bro. I got lucky. And it, it, yo, it's real. Like, Brooklyn's known for robbing people, man. Oh, Bronx yeah. Bronx niggas, they'll talk you out. Bronx niggas will talk you out of your shit. But Brooklyn niggas, they don't, they don't do one-on-ones. They don't to this act. day, they don't do one-on-ones. A bunch of pit bulls jump on you, bro. They might shoot you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You need somebody to walk you to the train station at night. Somebody you don't walk, and you don't... Yeah, yeah. If you, you walk by yourself, places unless you know somebody, and that somebody has to have some know somebody. Yeah, there. and that's, that's just the way it is. That's why yeah, I say so. I don't go no place unless I need to be there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm old, so I just come straight home. Yeah, me and too. I have my uh, my my sangria <laughs> that my wife makes. <laughs> yeah, show throw on something real quick. Throw on a little effect. I'm about to have a drink. I want to hear it. Oh, what I, what kind of sound effects you need for the drinks, man? Like a straight dog, put the smurfs or something. <laughs> I'm soft. Put the smurfs or some shit like that. Oh, oh. It's a classic. Yo, hit him with the with the George Michaels, bro. Why are you drinking the wine? Come on, boom. oh yeah, that's true, man. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, I went through my alcoholic stage, and I um I had to catch myself because I was spending a lot of money, and I said, you know what? Let me stop for three months. <clears throat> you know how much money I saved? Three months when I was like, oh, what? So every time I wanted to drink alcohol, I was counting my money. My wife's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, Ugh. Smart. Getting out of my system. Money over no, I hear you. I hear you. Money over it's like, it's yeah, like... man, You could get caught up with that. 
That and playing like, the lottery. I'm caught up with this sangria, bro. I hear hey, you. I'm fortunate. Like I'm in Italy and shit. Yeah. Stanley Tucci. I'm fortunate yeah. enough to to not have any of those vices with drugs or, or alcohol. I'm good with my soda oh, and my, my I went food. through the gamut, bro. Growing up, it was all about blunts, forties, and masculines, acids, the- all that, all that stuff. Yeah. I, I I went through that that whole stage, man. But you know, you live and you learn and you grow up. Some people don't get out of that. Yeah. <clears throat> One thing I never did was dust. Because uh, and exactly what Tupac said and hit him up, right? Niggas smoke a sherm and they think they learn to fly. Yeah, you be on the roof. You're like, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I heard stories about that. Like when PCP first came out, plenty of people were jumping out their windows because they, they had a six foot fly in, the in their house. Yeah, they thought they could fly and shit. All those hallucinogenics. Yeah, Angel Dust is no joke. Even the hey. Woolies. You see Biggie talk about the Woolies. With a, it was a with cracking weed or, or, or um, coking weed. Yeah. Even dusting weed. And one time somebody passed me that dusting weed. And these are friends that I grew up with. Got you. And they just laughed at me because everything was slow motion like this. Mm-hmm. They knew what hey. they were doing. He was just watching you. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, got him. <laughs> look at him. Damn, look at him. son. Yeah, I, man. It's, just, it's no yeah. joke, man. That's, and that's all. And you know what? And, and that's a, a, a growing up for what we grew up with. That was just uh that was just you know, it was it, it seemed like it was normal. Yeah. To go through that stage, it was like a rite of passage, you know. And and you looked up to people who came back from Rikers Island in prison because them they were buff. All the chicks wanted them. They look hard. Yeah. And 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 when you think now, and and the people who who. who Cause I grew up with a lot of people who sold drugs. They were drug dealers and they had the cars. And I remember the first car that I, I entered in to have a CD player and they were playing special ed. I got it made. Boom, 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 boom. And I looked up to these dudes, sport and everybody else. And they either dead or in jail or all that money that they made. Where is it? Yeah. It wasn't worth it, bro. Nine to five is the way to go. If for real, Not quick. A, you have a steady check. You have health insurance. Uh, yeah. And quick just, money come that, and go. That's not the way to go. Yeah. Oh. Yo, you know what's funny? I was. I've always said it's like yo. I wanted something with stability. Like you had health insurance and all. I remember when I got this job and I had health insurance for the first time. I was like, I felt at ease because the first time I had my shoulder surgery, I was under my mom's insurance. And I was working at Toyota, we but we yeah, I was under Toyota. I didn't have no health care from them. So I was, you know, I was lucky that I could get it done. The second shoulder surgery I had, I was working at Columbia with over here. I had my own insurance, so I got it done. I was like, yo, imagine I would have had two fucked up shoulders if I had no insurance. That fucking yeah. anesthesia, yeah. We'll yo, shit. the anesthesia was eighteen hundred dollars by itself. The, we'll the fucking, the, the, yeah. yeah, the surgery was twenty seven thousand dollars for one shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I'll get a knee. I, give, give me a kneecap. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I tell you, look, I you, you know this, Vince. I did dislocated my my shoulder um six times. I got hit by a car like ten years ago. Yeah, and it dislocated six times. I went to freaking Far Rockaway last summer, and my wife just grabbed my arm and it went out. And I said, I'm not gonna ruin my day. I said, no, but yeah. I still wasn't sure, and I was in pain for a week. Yeah, <clears throat> but why? <clears throat> um, because uh, <clears throat> I didn't meet my deductible. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't, yo, that's just fifteen hundred dollars. Yo, yo, don't, don't get it, no. don't get it twisted. I had one doctor if he's not participating. Yeah, I had, I've had. That slows everything up. I got fucked when I had this sur- the shoulder surgery because I was under the assumption that the one that you paid more a, a month for covered more shit, right? So I was paying the fifty dollars a month or the fifty dollars a check for the insurance instead of for the eight dollars so i'm like all right cool i get the 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 insurance and blah 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 and they're like yo it doesn't cover the um the physical therapy so i was getting billed every week but the thing was it was like it wasn't like i was getting a bill every week they would just bill me and then it'll come later so after i did my physical therapy a couple months later i was getting bills for 500 600 400 i'm like where the fuck are these bills coming from and then I'm like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was like, nah, bro, you 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 picked the wrong insurance. Like, well, why don't y'all fucking say shit like this? This is how you motherfuckers get us. Like, why am I paying more to get less? Like, that don't make no fucking sense. Yeah. It so, does. The thing is that you're already paying 
out of your pocket. So how the hell do they want more? That shit doesn't make any sense, bro. Word. Yeah. And then that's none where that it, none of that shit makes word. sense. And that's where that deductible shit no comes what because plan you pick. word because because even the MRI was two hundred fifty dollars. Oh yeah, exactly. and you have that. Insur- yeah. and you got that that insurance that there's a max. So if you pay if you pay two thousand dollars to your your bills, that's your max. You don't have to pay nothing else after that. That was what I switched mm-hmm. to because I wound up paying about what three four thousand dollars on this fucking thing. I'm like, nah, man, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. But the thing is that if you didn't work and you had some shit like Metro Plus, all that shit is covered, bro. Oh yeah, it was like a cash twenty two. They would have sent a nurse and a masseuse to my house every day. Yo, let me tell you, I understand what you're saying. Yo, as a matter of fact, while I was talking to you guys, man, I decided Lassie. to grow my hair. Leave me alone. Cause <laughs> me not care. <laughs> yeah, man, what's going on, bro? You from the islands? Ah, <laughs> you look like my cousin. Stick you up. Yeah, man, <laughs> Joey, what up? What up? Joey. What up, bro? Wow. Well, go on. He said, <laughs> I'm say, Brazy look frozen. Nah, Brazy just sitting there not talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing a game. Yeah, yeah. Who's the guy not talking? That's Brazy yeah, right yeah. there, Sonny. What? what up, guys? We working and you playing a game? What? Damn, you, got no, you got no sound. You got no sound in your bro. stream, show. How dare you? You heard, show? You got no sound coming Back out of your stream. Days, oh, I got to take my bro. Room. I was sampling something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pass the Dutch on the left hand side. <laughs> Word. All you had to do was get a little doll in your hand. You was voodoo man and shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop your blood clock. Crying, Word. Mark <laughs> yo, yo, you got to put that on. Be like, the devil is not welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody want to live, nobody want to die. Word. <laughs> oh, don't want to die. man, ask the, that statue a question. <laughs> Yo, they want us to ask the statue a question. Yo, Brazy, what's up, man? You alive over there? You breathing? Yeah, I'm alive. I ain't dead. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I up, guys. Wild one. <laughs> the word. You need to. Shut the fuck up. Better alive, you are coming with me. See, now that's some old school shit right there. That was my shit back in the day. (laughs) Sound face, bro. Damn, man. With his eyes open. What's wrong with you, bro? Word. How you feeling, Sonny? Good, good. No, I was gonna say upstairs. Um, they they be playing that merengue and shit. It all sounds the same. They'd be like, but pa 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 And then yo, the high parts where you get sweaty, it'd be like, pa 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 the people above me every Sunday always bing 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 Hey yo, and I'm telling people this like yo, how the fuck you fall asleep? It's like yo, I can sleep through anything, bro. I would go to sleep and my hands would be moving bing 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 bing. I wake up five pounds lighter. With the horns. Bing bing bing. Like, oh shit, that's hot. <laughs> it's like shit, man. It's crazy. The, the fucking the, and it's the same beat nonstop, forty five hours in a day. <laughs> yeah, man. I remember I went to Puerto Rico. It was a uh, um, but you guys want to hear a story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay, so uh, I lived a long life, but anyway, I um, uh, <clears throat> what? What time I was? I was in college. I went to Brook College, right? Yeah. It took me 22 years to graduate <laughs> college. <laughs> Damn. But I had no loans. That's the only way to do it. Anyway, um, so uh, um, I went. I, uh, one time I went, there was this dude, Lou, in my class. And he said, yo, man, you Puerto Rican, right? Liberty. I said, yeah. He word up. And the nigga said, uh, excuse for me to say nigga, but he said, yo, you know how to dance salsa? I said, Hell yeah, I don't know how to dance salsa. I don't know how to dance salsa. <laughs> but he, he said, 
<clears throat> he said, he said, my friend from Jersey has a Sasa studio and he has a lot of uh, 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 white American people who from raging from, from uh, uh, 25 up to like 80 something who follow whatever hell he says. And he trains them how to dance salsa. So he convinced them to pay money to dance in, in Puerto Rico. And I said, oh, yeah, for real? He said, yeah. He says, one of the trainers got sick. He can't come. He says, if you give me $150, we'll go to Puerto Rico for three days on the weekend. But you know how to dance, right? I said, oh, no. I didn't know how to dance, oh, nigga. No. I was the, I was the rock, Airbnb rock and whopping. But anyway, <laughs> so <clears throat> we go to Puerto Rico. I, I, I sit there, and what happened was they, they chose a hotel where at 3 o'clock to midnight, they have a live band that, that plays in the lobby. So you go upstage, you change, you come down. The minute you come out the elevator, it's like, bam, 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 bam. It's like, what? And you so I got put on the spot. I got put on the spot. So the, uh, um, what happens is you're supposed to grab each member of that, of that, 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 that uh, each member of that studio to dance with them. When I got there, <clears throat> I'm so young minded, like uh, hard headed, that when I got there, I just sat there and ordered drinks on them. And they're like, yo, is this dude gonna dance? I was like, what? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and what you gonna do? Throw me out? I'm here. <laughs> so one lady, she grabbed me to dance. So I did my little step, right? And I, I didn't know how to dance. So when I was doing my step, I, <laughs> I did a, um, I would do this reset step. And they all jumped on it. They were like, oh, what was that? Teach us that. And meanwhile, the, the, the head instructor was like, this thing is bullshit. <laughs> oh, but the whole weekend was like, what? Panic, panic. But I'm not paying it, paying it. What the hell? Say, <laughs> Nah. What? My man got a, a trip to Puerto Rico and shit. They're like, come on, dance. What? Like, nah, I'm good. I just told y'all be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they, 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 uh, they went to the rainforest and I said, no, I'm not going. And they were like, all right, you just chill here. So I chilled. They came back with cuts and scrapes and everything. When they came back, I had Bacardi. I was in the fucking balcony with a Mark Anthony suit on and shit, ready for that night. Like, <laughs> let me do that step that they think is hot. <laughs> <laughs> My man turned into a star and shit. <laughs> Yo, he never Dancing talked to me when we got to when we got back to school. He never talked to me again. <laughs> Yo, Lou, wherever you are in this world, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so done. Well, Leah said that's how you wing it. They Fuck were it for man. drinks, dinner, everything, bro. I was a fucking vulture. Yo, I don't understand how you didn't get scared knowing that you didn't know how to dance. I nah, man. The elevators. No. No. From where we come from, an opportunity is an opportunity. Like, nah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I think uh, I'm circling back on that. So when he I was on, on the terrace, he's muted. So, uh, show. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. So when I was in the balcony at one point, and I'm talking 2004 or something, I'm listening to the radio out in Puerto Rico, and they start playing that. Uh, uh, what were now uh, the Nicky Jam stuff, the Nicky Jam and Daddy Yankee, that reggaeton. Yeah, yeah, and I remember that. You, man, I was like, I said, this shit is whack. You believe that shit? I was like, this shit is whack. I said, one dude is getting paid off that same fucking beat, bro. Oh, yeah, song they had the same beat. With the... <laughs> I was like, what the hell? This shit is whack. And look, it blew up. And let me tell you. <clears throat> Every restaurant that I went to, they had pictures of Nicky Jam there. And I said, who the fuck is this her? <laughs> like, who, yeah, like, who the fuck is this shit? Yeah, it's, like, it, it's like if hip hop was it, if, if hip hop type music wasn't from the Bronx or the five boroughs, then it just didn't mean shit to me. Like even Lords of the Underground from Jersey was like, for real, Jersey niggas are rapping? Redman? Who writes your shit? Kara? Mm -hmm. You know, so it was like that. It was that. It was that. It was that, that type of vibe and shit. Nah, I but feel it, you. It, you know, just like merengue, it's the same beat. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, like like freestyle music. Remember freestyle music with TKA and then yeah. 
Stevie oh, B and you know, all that. They had the same shit. Mm-hmm. You, you want to get a Puerto Rican hype? Play freestyle. Yo, music, bro, bro, you know what's. I throw that shit out. Why you want to go? Why you want to go? <laughs> In a dream, my love. <laughs> you find my heart. <laughs> oh, tears may fall. Oh, tears may fall from you. <laughs> I'll be yeah, loving you old old my all my life <laughs> to oh my, my dying <laughs> days. To... <laughs> Wait. Yo, dude, it's crazy because I used to go to school in like Long Island and shit. And people ask me like, yo, what's like, your favorite type of music? Like freestyle. And like, oh, like, you know, rap. I was like, nah, like TKA and CBB. And they're like, what's that? I said, what? You don't know what freestyle is like. Nah, I'm like, yo, no one outside the Bronx of Puerto Rican know what freestyle is. It hurt me. It hurt me. I was like, let me tell you, the, <laughs> the drug dealers that I grew up around, the shit was spring love. love come back, come to, back to, me. to me. That was the shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the nigga had Jerry curls all the way to here, and they didn't drip. Like he must have dried the end up. Word. Well, <laughs> but you see any spots? Yeah, for real. <laughs> I didn't dry with some tissue, baby. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Yo, show. I need you to put an effect for what we just talked about, bro. Do it. I got you. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm sleepy, but that... <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm the wrong button. There you go. <laughs> Let me dig in my crates for y'all. Hey, oh, we going to get the vinyls. Yo, hip hop started in the Bronx, big fool. Rap music started in the Bronx. That's it, bro. It put out. The, 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 I got an update. The Big Daddy came, baby. Ooh. Had to pull out the vinyl, baby. <laughs> <laughs> big fool. Welcome Man. back, sir. That's you it, yeah. The thing was muted, so is it still muted? No, no, I fixed it. Thank you. Appreciate you. I don't know how huh. your stream always be muted. Cause he be doing something he ain't supposed to be doing. Cause I'm always over here dealing with samples, man. I'm the DJ. You ain't no DJ. Being rock yeah. candy, the original baby. Okay, that's fire. Nah, that's your fire. shit is muted still, show. I am I muted. I hear everything. Well, my mic is moving and everything. I'm not hearing shit on Yo, your stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that uh, D Nice. He got his own Instagram shit, right? It is hot, man. I wish I could do that. D nice, he he uh, DJs on Instagram. You gotta know about that. Oh, never mind. Nah, but yo, you should do that though. Yeah. The same way I you set it up for us. Copyright thing that I'm afraid about. I'm but afraid of. Uh, Instagram live ain't nobody gonna come rock copyright you. I don't know, but you know what's crazy? Everybody knows Queen Latifah to be the actress and shit, but I knew her to be the rapper. First, oh yeah, bro. yeah, I remember her rapping. She was nasty with that shit. Yeah, man. She was a gangster rapper. Oh, yeah. it right. She was no. She was. She was no, good, man. Gangster. Yo, what about no auto? Let me know if you can. Damn, son. That was before Queen Latifah was all pretty in L'Oreal. Yeah. That's crazy. Man. How she made the switch. <laughs> nah. Yeah, can't man. hear you, show. Why oh, you can yeah, hear me? When- nope. You remember when Alex said D nice live now. Lisa? Slick Rick came out with Mona Lisa. Ooh. That song. If you see me walking down the street. Oh yeah. And I start to cry. I thought that shit was Chinese, man. Because I heard that shit from a an apartment and some dude was pumping the music. And I said, What what kind of shit is that? Like I never heard music somebody singing to a beat like that. Like, oh man. That's the perfect anyway, thing. U-N-I-T-Y. No, no, do your thing. Do your thing, bro. You're in a podcast. Anything you say... Cannon per- will be held against you in a bro, court of law. <laughs> That's true, man. That's so true, man. Nah. That's so true. We, we out here, man. Hell yeah. Anything, I said worse. I said, I said believe it or not, I said worse, Mike. So you good. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Yo, hey. coming on. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. I am the king of the rumba beat. And we go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. Who? Oh. <laughs> 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 there you go. He brought the maracas out. Word. Right. That's right. And everybody knows this one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big pun, man. Big pun's one of my favorites. 
That Yeah Baby yeah, album he came out one. with? Shit. I know that one. For Cannibalism sure. is ever the my metabolism giving us spasms and aneurysms at baby baptisms. Oh, what? You got some classics, man. Look at that. Oh, yo. okay. Classic, get rich or die trying. <laughs> I didn't even know that shit came out in the vinyl. When they like everything came out on the vinyl. They but like for the DJs. when they stopped doing vinyls, yeah, they still you do had vinyls. To buy doubles in order in order to go back and forth. You yeah. didn't have this digital shit, bro. Once they did the digital, you, they stopped it. you had to word. When they yeah, stop doing vinyls, I, I, like at what, like, can you get new shit as a vinyl, or is, is that dead? Oh yeah, you can. You go to certain places like Rock and Soul, which is downtown. They still have vinyls. Oh, okay, and, okay. And, and there you could, you know, like Nas when he first came out. Oh okay. shit! So it's like it's crazy, bro. And they they're all double sided. Th- this is this is just what I have on um. This is just what I, my wife bought this cabinet for me because she got tired of the fucking milk crates. <laughs> the so milk crates is old school. Milk crates down here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's my, that, that was my thing. The milk crates is old I had school. I used to the digital shit. Nah, yeah, I hear you. I mean, uh, the 90s, that era, the 90s, you had to be different. Like nowadays, it seems like everybody yeah. has the same beats. Yeah, you know, it, it, nowadays it's not more about lyrics; it's more about the banging beat, and then you listen to the person. So I'm old school, but I listen to <clears throat> the new guys, and the people who are kicking shit is uh the babies and shit. Yeah, <laughs> the I, baby, little uh, baby. Yeah, I, I love that shit. I call them the little, little oots. <laughs> The little who? The little I remember when uh, Meek Mill, uh, Philly, as a matter of fact, Meek Mill. I have this mixed song for Meek Mill yeah. when he first came out. It was a freestyle. He killed it. And that's before he got with Rick Ross or anything. Like, he's truly talented. But what happened was I noticed, like, he went into making records. Yeah. But the kid is nice. You go on YouTube, look at him when he was a kid. Yeah. And that's a true MC. He was a different player. He was, he was he was a different breed when when I started up looking up to him. Yeah, he definitely was. Then even when he went to jail, he came back. Mm-hmm. When he was younger, <clears throat> he killed it. Like he was all about freestyles and battle rap. But now, but then you know what different. sells is this album. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, even Gilly the Kid, he's nice. That's Philly, right? Yeah. Uh, Beanie yeah. Siegel. Uh, Beanie yeah. Siegel was, and, and people were. People would fight me, bro. But Nas was like, yo, even Beanie's better than you. Talking about Jay-Z. Yeah. And, hey, and yo, hey, Beanie was, uh, Beanie's nice. Like, that he kid is, that he guy's didn't have nice. He did the, the drive that Jay-Z did. He didn't make it. He just, um, what happened was Jay-Z, he, in my opinion, Jay-Z formulated a street crew who he left in the streets after he was done. Yeah, because yeah. they didn't have that business sense or anything. Yeah, it's all about connections and network. To do it, they didn't think you, about the future. You play the you, you play the role you need to. The number one rapper from that era that's still hot to this day that no one would dare battle is DMX. Yeah. Yo, DMX like, was my crazy. dude. Yeah, DMX like, was my dude. God, to this day, he's still making records. I think. Yes, he's, I, he's yeah. coming out with an album. Yeah, he should be coming out with an album soon. I heard it. Oh, yeah. Forget it. Even, you, yeah. know, you, you had Nas who came out with Illmatic, and when I first heard that, I said, oh shit, there's another Rakim. There's a baby Rakim. He was so lyrical. But then at, the albums after that weren't matching. Uh, I mean, weren't, weren't matching that. He could never beat that. Yeah. You know? And that's why I argue with my friends, and I'm like, yo, Nas is better, but in reality, I just piss him off. But you can't fuck with Jay-Z. The nigga got like a hundred albums, and every song you hear, he's on point. Like the guy's nice. He's Rain Man. Who like, would be able to go real? A Biggie against, him, against JC? Biggie's nice. Like, yeah, but you don't got Biggie, it. Tupac, and Pun were alive. A lot of this shit would have had to step it up, or yeah. never he wouldn't even came out. They would have been another level. Yeah. These guys died at 24, 25. In the yo, 90s. Yo, do you think... So imagine. Do you think Eminem would be as, as nice as I'm he was if they... I'm like that shit came out last night. I would have. 
Do you think Eminem would have been as hot as he was, or Fifty would have been as hot as they was when they, if they were still alive? Well, hell yeah. To be honest, yeah. To be honest with you, well, he would have had to step his game up for sure. But I like Eminem, but Eminem is a uh, um, he don't have to me. He don't have that. He's lyrically nice, but he don't have that soul. Yeah, like this some did, he... sort of soul that nah, comes yeah. out to the record. And he like, don't have yeah. it. Something to connect he with. He just doesn't have it. Even though he's lyrically nice. Like, the kid is nice, but yeah. you don't have that soul. And then he went off to that somebody singing in between verses, and he's getting deep with that weird monk beard. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, I don't know. He's nice, though. He's there with the, lyric, the lyrical stuff, but... I want you guys to do to do me one favor whenever you get a chance. Go on YouTube and type 1981 Harlem World Kumo D. And what it was was uh, you had uh, <clears throat> he was in a battle at Harlem World. And if, if you go to YouTube and you listen to it, um, you had Busy B, who at that time in the early 80s, everybody thought he was the shit because he was like the grand MC. So everything was, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> if I see the girls, and you know, girls, throw your hands in the air, or this and that, bob, the bob, the bang, the bang, diggy, diggy, da, diggy, dang, dang, dang. Kumal D cut the shit off right then and there. He said, oh, yes. okay. And he, and, he, and he gave Busy B his props during his, his battle rap, but he Whoa, destroyed you got him. I think I got it here. Busy no, B versus Kumal D. You want to hear it? I got that shit, bro. From the treacherous three and C's. That's cool it. Cool Mo D. That's it. Listen to me. Now what? Like love rap. Huh? Oh, he got it. All right. Well, Cool Mo D. One, two, one, two, party That's people it. in the place to be. My name is MC Cool Mo D from the treacherous three. My man LA Sunshine in the place to be. We gonna get a little something straight here in the place to be. Don't worry about it, DJ Lee, on the place to be. We gonna get a little something straight in the place to be. One, two, one, two. My man, Busy B. Starsky. How many people think Busy B. Starsky rocked the house? He look like uh, fabulous. I hear that in the place to be. But if y'all notice it or not, you know, I heard a lot of shit. You know, Busy B's popping shit, saying he'll take out any MC and all that. I give it to the man. He know how to rock the crowd. But when it come to having rhymes, no way you can fuck around, and I'm going to prove that right now. In the place to be MC, Cool Mozy, the coolest of the cool can nobody rock like me. Remember this. Hey. Cold Crush Roll in the house. My man LA Sunshine well, in the place to be. We're going to have a little fun. Have a little fun. TJ Lee, you think you got it together yet? One, two, one, four, Ew. triple, two, four, the bang. Go. Go on, easy, Lee, and let's rock. <laughs> One, two, one, two, what do we do now? Hold on, busy B, I don't mean to be bold, but put that ball did it, ball bullshit on the hole. We gonna get right <laughs> down to the nitty grit. Gonna tell you a little something why you ain't shit. It ain't an empty shot that you don't hug. Get even bitch a name from the love bug. And not a fight a nigga's name, miss some low down shit. Shut up. If you was money, man, you'd be counterfeit. I gotta Shut give it fit. to you though you can rock. <laughs> but everybody know you're on the furious jock. And I remember busy from the olden times when my man Tony G used to sell your rhymes. Remember that rhyme called Diddy Bar Diddy? Man, goddamn, that shit was a pity. Too hot to try, hit to rock a spot. Spoonie G rockin' whether you like it or not. We paid for the rhyme, asked for it twice. He said, Spoonie G, I'll buy it any price. When Spoonie finally sold it, old water relief. Busy B stole it like a fucking thief. Came out rockin' the party short. Got everybody thinking that that yeah. rhyme's yours. Every time I hear it, I throw a fit. Party after party, the same old shit. Record after record, <laughs> rhyme after rhyme. Always wanna know your zodiac sign. She changed the shit to the favorite cheese. Come on, Busy B, tell me what that means. Hold on, brother man, don't you say nothing. I'm not finished yet, I gotta tell you something. Too hot to try, I'm here to rock a spot. I'm gonna rock your ass whether you like it or not. He made a second title right on the spot. How can I take a title? You ain't got it. You're not number one. You're not number <laughs> one. You ain't you got it. You ain't got it. You're nowhere <laughs> in the Celebrity clubs and bullshit like it. those. Those are kind of stuff that everybody knows. Celebrity clubs are those are kind you can win. It all set up before we come in. But in a battle like this, you know you lose. Between me and you, who do you think they'll choose? Well, if you think it's you, I got bad news. But
because they hear your name, yeah. they're gonna hear some booze. Cause you're faking the funk, cause you're faking right. the funk. And at the end of the time, they call me Uncle Moji, rock shot the house. Call me Uncle Moji, rock the house. Y'all, like this, y'all, like this, y'all. Yeah. Like this, this, it's like this, y'all. Mm. Hey, you popcorn, peanut, toy MCs. Never, ever, ever heard no rhymes like these. Cause my intent from the time I spend is to say those rhymes that I invent. And for your pleasure, a rhyme you treasure. Please don't try, cause you can't measure. The length or time can't touch the rhyme. Hit hot, don't stop, cause you know I'm an MC supreme and I'm one of a kind. If you think real hard, I'm sure you're fine. Ain't another MC who can rhyme like this. Not your mother or your father, aunt, brother or your sister. Sit, sit back and enjoy, don't try to bite. Cause it's very hard to say any rhyme I write. But do it like this, do it like that. Concentrate real hard and get the rhyme down pat. No matter how hard you try, you'll see. You'll get your mind in the mind and can't say it like me. But you wanna be busy, wanna be. And you know we wanna be another Kumo D. So let's all chant because you know you can't. Everybody salute to the big MC champ. It's like this, y'all. Like this, y'all. Like this, it's this. It's like this, y'all. Now that bar did the bar, the dang, the dang, dang. Sound pretty good, but it ain't no thing. I'm the super, super party pooper member. Oh, super, shit. super, disco breaker, but it's a man who never makes a stick and rap below. I'm not a ball, baddest man you ever saw. Money make an earthquake, a man who gets the party shake. You complicate your stimulation, man who's gonna rock the nation. Rhyme, rhyme, battle, drive by your phone and keep some mind. I'm not the baddest, not the maddest when I win a hand again. No beginner, not a center on the mic. I'm just a winner. Very, 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 very. Every ooh, time ooh, I pop ooh. the cherry, yo, my God, it's same and glory, but I never tell a story. The only time I'm from the mic because it's something that I like to reassure the rhyme below. I always keep some sexy songs. Super bad, bad, super bad. Never sad, always glad, rather than you buy the hat. If you tell I've never had sleek, sleek, so you need guaranteed to move your feet. So, ladies, I without a doubt, guaranteed to turn it out. Remember me, MC Modi, the man that's at the TOP, and ladies dream the way it seems what they seem. Oh, the oh. I'm so shocking when I'm rocking, bound to get your fingers popping. Handle that, I turn it out, cause that's the party's all about. Do it, do it, right, all playing, go laying on the mic around saying, MC who rock vicious leads, satisfaction guaranteed. Or you get your money back, believe me, girl, it's not the whack. Pleasure is free, as you can see. Bless your case, sunshine, and I'm Kumo D. Signing off, y'all. Signing off, y'all. From the south to the west, to the east, to the north. Visit me, my man. You know, I went off to chill out. Chill and chill out. Chill on out. Chill out. Chill and chill out. Chill on out. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you ever look at interviews of DMC for Run DMC, he said that's the reason what made him want to rap. Okay. A lot of the rappers. That's why when they say Kumo D is my top, Kumo D is my top, it's because it's, it's not because it made me think like Kumo D, the wild, wild west, <laughs> the wild, wild west, all that bullshit. I was like, for real? But no, you see that? That was what, 1981 or yeah, 1980? 1981. That was there you go. He killed it. After that, nobody was doing the bob, the, the bob, the bang, the dang, dig, dig, dig. That's it. Yo, that's that, shit was, what, that right. shit was fire. I ain't even gonna what lie. Also, what also changed hip hop was Eric B. I, I mean, Rakim. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Rakim, when the he master. came out with that song. And, in 86, when he came out with uh, Eric B for president, I came in the door. I said it before. He started the WAP music. That's when everybody started WAPing, right? <clears throat> he changed that whole shit, too, that whole genre. And everything just went there until Big Daddy King came. And Big Daddy King started doing beat, uh, uh, songs that were higher than, than uh, 100 beats per minute. You got the like vinyl for that? Boom it yeah, up. which one? Boom it up, came boom, boom. Oh, yeah, boom, I got it up. Boom, 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 boom. Exactly. Oh, but, <clears throat> but I was in my, I was in my man's house. There you go. I was in my man's house, and he threw on a record, and I said, what the fuck is that? And it was, uh, uh, here I am, R-A-W, a terrorist, here to bring trouble to phony MCs. I move on and cease. And it was just so fast. So, oh, shit. He broke the mold from Rakim. Mm -hmm. So Rakim, after that, had to come with fast shit. Let the rhythm hit him. You know? And yeah, he, word. yeah, and then when you listen to the music and then you listen to Coogee Rap, like, Coogee Rap is like... Psh. Big Pun said when he met Coogee Rap, he, he, he got on his knees and kissed his ring. Because Coogee <laughs> Rap is... I swear to God, Coogee Rap is nasty. You listen to a song, Men at Work, and it's not popular. Man at work, he says, I bust your ass so fast, it'll fascinate. Like, what kind of shit is that? Hey, he said, he said, more, he said, he said, more tricks than a 666, so you better grab your crucifix. 
Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah, these, these guys were nice. That's what when you listen to the when you listen to Symphony, Symphony, the Juice Crew, Symphony All Star. And then you listen to all of them. They kill it. But who kills it? To me, Coochie Rap and Rock uh, and uh, Big Daddy Kane. But Coochie Rap kills it. The nigga said, I put out more light than a fight than Carl Nedison. Remember when you was just getting cut Carl Nedison off and shit if you didn't yeah. pay? Like, what the yeah. fuck? And they fight you to get it on. Like, what? Yo, he killed it, man. <laughs> Yo. Yo, so, so at, at that point, I was in high school, 88, 89, when the stuff came out. I had my man Vic. Who always we will always be back for? But you heard Rakim? But you heard you heard you heard a uh, uh, Big Daddy Kane? Say so, yeah yeah yeah, and and that's when you started listening to lyrics and how they twist shit up. And 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 that's what it was about. And then when Kooji Rap was always the one that was under them, but he was nice. So is that uh, is that, that your of, oh, die? is that your favorite era of rap of hip hop? I could say. Um, but as a kid, when I was 13, uh, what, what hit me hard, <clears throat> and um, my father used to actually hit me because he said, I don't want you listening to that black shit. Damn. And he hit me because, because my favorite shit was the message. It's like a jungle. Damn. It makes you wonder how I got like, going on. The broken glass. Everywhere. Yeah. People, you know, yeah, yeah. people pissing on the station. Niggas just don't care. He would say, "Stop listening to that, to that, to that, that black music. Stop listening to it." So it was that, and then um, T. La Rock. Ba-da, ba-da, it's yours. You know, I know. You know, T. La Rock? you know, we know T. La Rock, right? He's always by. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. by a job. Yeah, I don't know if you ever met him. That shit on right now, bro. Bro, I went. Int- I'm gonna oh. introduce you someday. He always, he always comes to my truck. That's crazy. Get out of here. But but thank you. But what I wanted to to show you guys, especially because it, it I don't know if it amazed you, it definitely amazed me when I started doing my research. But it's more of the props to the people of the '90s who were sampling using the SP12, right machine. P Rock, Seal Smooth, Premier, every oh, the whole class of people who yeah. knew how to. Get a vinyl from the 70s and funk that your mother listened to, whatever it was. And hold on, let me close my voice door. And to know which who, who, who knew, shit. Yeah, who knew how to. Um, I'm going to bathroom and shit. I'm a piece sitting down, so you gotta hear it. <laughs> anyway, um, this man and, I, and I won't splash what, what, what? anyway and shit. But that's our secret. But listen, <clears throat> but they knew how to listen to a song because those songs were seven minutes. Six minutes, and then you wait for fucking five minutes, six or or four and a half minutes for that breakbeat or that one sample you want. That's incredible. Yeah, you make a fucking incredible song. You, you listen to Trouble T. Roy. Remember they reminisce over you. My God, that shit by by P. Rock and Seal Smooth. Anyway. They and they make a whole song on it, and, and it's incredible because I used to say to myself, How do these people just uh, uh main source? You understand? Um, how do they just sit down and listen to these songs? Oh, especially Q Tip Tribe Quest. Like, have you heard? Uh, um, uh, it, I'm sure you heard it, but lyrics to go, nah, nah, I've not to go, lyrics to go. You never heard it? I'm gonna put it on real quick. You heard it before. Anyway, I probably heard it. I just never. Yeah, what you what I thought man. for so many years was an instrument was a chick screaming on a high note, Minnie Rippleton. What? What? Yeah, <laughs> and she's like, ah, watch. Bro, I thought that was just a, a dude hit him hitting a key or something. Ah, oh, no, right, that's dude. a chick. Look it up, Minnie Rippleton, and um, and that's her high note. Ah, they sample that but it took so many years for people to figure that out like oh shit that's an actual girl singing who was able to hit that high note so it gives you more respect for the producer q-tip who was into soul and jazz who sat down and listened to this these old albums these old vinyls put the needle to it and said oh shit i'm gonna get that 
That's what I'm I'll saying. Be, I'll be back, so. And so they sample a lot of stuff, and and during that time that I grew, uh, I grew up in my heyday, and I'm listening to that music. Um, it was a problem with these people who made those songs and and saying, "Oh my God, you are sampling my stuff to make this bebop stuff." They used to say, and and that's when they started suing for samples. Yeah. But then, but then, if you listen to uh, uh, Big Daddy Kane, he had a song out. And um, somebody else had a song out aiming at those people and say, you will be completely forgotten if it wasn't for us. No, yeah, yeah. Like, it has to come, it has to, you know, live on somehow. Yeah, so, that's it. I'm sorry that I, uh, I kind of I go off when it comes to that because this is my passion. Bro, I so I completely if, understand if I that. Kind of bored you guys or took over the show. I apologize, bro. Nah, yo, bro. That wasn't my intention. Never, 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 never. I appreciate you coming on and sharing your passion with us. It's like when we talk about wrestling, I take over the show. Also, man, oh, appreciate you stopping by, man. You made our stream a lot better. Thank you. I appreciate. It. I appreciate you having me and everybody else in there. You have a good night. Thank you for listening. And be a part of our uh, spectacular show today, man. Word. It's it. It was really awesome. You 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 guys made it uh made it happen, man. Tomorrow's another day, and it's better if we could do this during the day. Word. Because nobody complains during the day. <laughs> so <laughs> nah, I, I hate play you. my music. <laughs> I hate and you. And we can just continue on. Just just uh, I'll get that notification when you want. All right. Yo. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Appreciate Jess. I'm by the Bronx. Want to say what's yeah. up and later. Hey.